everyone. Thanks for tuning in again. Uh, today's look was inspired by a runway magazine I purchased. And it has the actress from Twilight, Angela Serafian. Um, but she has a really purple... Almost like... It looks like her eyes are glowing. I love it. And then her, like dark corners here on the bottom. A little darkness. And then it goes into light. And then she has a really peachy cheek. And a lot of light in the center of her face. And then a nice golden uh, peachy frosty lip. So this is how mine looks. And I think I came pretty close. I mean, she is really pale and a vampire and has blue eyes. But <laughs> I think I came pretty close. So if you want to learn how to do this look, then all you got to do is keep watching. Always you want to you. prime your lid. And I'm priming my lid with my favorite primer by Kat Von D in Skin. And you want to, oops, going to put that all over the lid, all the way up to the brow. And you also want to apply it on the lower lash line. So after you've primed your lid, you want to take a color like this. It's kind of like a, um, a gray with a hint of blue to it. It's the third one up, second one in. And you need a nice fluffy brush like this. I'm using a big one because I have a semi-big lid. But what you want to do is put this color all over the lid and you want to slightly bring it up over your natural crease. Just slightly. And you do kind of want to leave this area open so we can add our highlight right there. And I'm going to use my Sephora number 27 blending brush and I'm going to be using my 88 color palette again neutral palette and I'm going to go in with this color here it's five up from the bottom and it's the six one over and I'm going to apply that over that gray blue we just put on and we're also going to bring it in right here so this whole part should be open. There should be nothing right in here. In this groove and right in the inner eye. So I am going to take a nice little crease brush like this and go on with the same brown. And I'm going to bring that down below and connect it to the brown that we put up here in the inner corner. And I'm going to use this kind of like a white gold color from the same BH palette and it's the third one down from the top first one in and I'm using a fluffy brush on purpose so I can just softly apply this right to that inner corner and right in that little pocket that we made Next, I'm going to be using my Urban Decay palette. I'm going to go in with that color underground. It's like a grayish brown color. And again, I'm going to use my 27 brush, number 27, Sephora brush. And we're going to go over that brown we just put on and concentrate it towards the ends. And again, you want to bring it down to the lower lashes and connect it. Um, this is my NYX uh, Jumbo Stick in just purple, number 618. Let's see it. So what we're going to do is we're going to run this across the lash line. And we're not going to bring it all the way in. We're going to stop where the lashes end in the inside. And we're going to kind of flick it out at the end. That's how she has it on the, on the picture. After your eyeliner, uh, we want to set that because um, these jumbo sticks are really creamy and I also want to make it pop a little more. Um, I'm going to use, or I am using, Blue Bust by Urban Decay from my Book of Shadows 4 palette. And I'm just going to use a nice um, small smudge brush like this. Yeah. 
The next thing we're going to do is go back in with our Urban Decay palette. And I'm going to use this uh, bright purple, it's almost gone, sorry, you can tell I like it, but it's called Fishnet, and it's a really bright purple, and we're going to use the same smudge brush, and I'm going to apply that directly over the eyeliner we just put on with the eyeshadow to kind of blend it, help blend it out. And you just want to run it right across the top of the line. Next, we want to do eyeliner, and I'm just using um, a black waterproof pencil by Makeup Forever. So I'm just going to run it along the lashes of the bottom lash line. Alright, so once you get the bottom lash line, you also want to tight line the top lashes. I like it. This is, I'm going to look so funny right now. Ugh. You just want to push it into the lashes. So after you do the waterline on the top and bottom, you want to just tilt your head back and just kind of wiggle it into the top lashes. Next we want to finish the bottom lash line so it's darker on the outside. I took an NYX jumbo eye pencil in dark brown and I got a concealer brush like this and I just took it to the eyeliner so I could smudge it into the bottom lash line without creating a dark line and I concentrated it on the outer corner next you want to take a matte brown, nude brown like this. This is from Smashbox. It's called Nude. <laughs> and you need just a nice fluffy brush like this. This is my crease brush from Studio Basics. But I'm just gonna uh, put it right under here to just kind of smoke out the bottom so it's not a harsh line. So then you want to take a matte bone color like this. This one's by Smashbox again. It's called Bliss. And I'm taking a nice soft brush to apply that right up here to the brow bone and help blend this dark brown out because it's so Next high. Is the mascara. Um, I got this as a beauty perk, a 100 point beauty perk from Sephora. And then you also want to do the same to the bottom lashes. Okay, next is cheeks. It looks like she has a very peachy cheek with a slight contour and then a lot of highlighter in the center of her face. So to achieve that, I'm using NARS's Gina. It's a really orange blush right on the back of the cheekbones. I'm taking a really soft kind of small angled blush brush so I can get really good control of where I put this and I really just want to concentrate it on the back of the cheekbones so right here and then I'm gonna go over it with the sugar bomb and the sugar bomb has a little hint of orange some pink some bronziness and then a little bit of rosiness so it's actually really pretty I like it a lot and then I'm going to softly blend that over the Gina and bring it a little bit down over my apple of the cheek. Next we're going to contour and I'm using Hoola by Benefit. It's a matte, really light brown bronzer, excellent for contouring. I'm going to use a fluffy brush like this, go all in all angles and then tap it off. And then to contour, yeah, I'm going to look funny, but I make like a little kissy face, like, <laughs> and I put it right in this groove right here. And we kind of want to keep it towards the back, don't bring it down too far. 
then of course when you use bronzer you want to continue to um, shape the face so it doesn't look like you're just sculpted here or nowhere else so put it up here around the perimeter of the forehead and right here in the temple should connect that right here in the temple and then right on the jawbone across the chin and then you want to kind of bring it down on the neck so there's no um, line of differentiation just like that and then I did um, I used my small uh, blush brush to put it just on the sides of my nose because it looks like she has a little contouring on her nose next is the highlighter we she has a lot of face uh, a lot of face she has a lot of light in the center of her face so I'm gonna use um, a pinkish type highlighter by Tokidoki it's called Kabuki and it's like a it has little pink uh, hints of pink and purple sparkle it's really pretty I like it very feminine it's gonna go good with the purple and I'm gonna use my small um, angled blush brush again and I'm going to put it right here, right on the top of the cheekbone. And then I'm going to bring it down right here and under the nose. And I'm also going to bring it around the eyebrow and kind of make a C with it like that. And put some right here in, the, in between my eyebrows. And then some right down the middle of the nose. And for the middle of the nose, I use my finger. It's because my nose is all crooked. And <laughs> the brush just kind of makes it worse. And I'm also going to put some right here on my Cupid's bow. And right here under my bottom. Okay, bottom. next we're going to do our eyebrows. And I don't want my eyebrows to be too dark. So I'm using a really nice taupe color like this with no shimmer. It's just a matte brown. And this one is from the um, Bright Shadow Duo Roaring by L'Oreal. And I'm just using a nice angled brush. Alright, last but not least is the lips. And it looks like she has almost like a golden orange frosty lip. Not a lot of gloss, but definitely some kind of frostiness right in the center of her lip to achieve it. I used a gold eyeliner pencil by Rimmel and it's called Precious Gold and I just filled my lips in with that and this will help so it doesn't feather. So after you've filled in your lips with the gold I'm taking a L'Oreal Infallible Lipstick in Perpetual Peach and it looks like this and I'm putting it right over to get that orangey look. And then to get that pop of shine in the center of the lip, I'm taking my Smashbox Artificial Light uh, Luminizing Powder. And I like it. It comes in a little stick form, so that's cool. And I'm going to pop this right in the center of my lips. All right here. And I'm just going to blend it out slightly. I'm using a Smashbox gloss. And I'm going to put some on my finger. And I'm just going to dot it right where we put that highlighter in the center. Take a little more. Alright, so this is the look. I think I came pretty close. <laughs> of course, she's a lot paler than me and a vampire, but you know, whatever.